Now let's look at a uh, couple more scenarios, like couple more things. What if I want to know what is the file name that got processed? How do I look at that, right? The first thing we have to do is for PI to keep track of the file name, I need to enable something called adapter specific message attributes in PI. So let's look at that. How do I enable that? So I go into file to IDOC sender 00. This is my file channel. Go into the advanced tab. And in this advanced tab, you see the set adapter specific message attributes. Select that and select the file name. Now what happens? Let's look at it, right? I select that and I say activate. Now in the runtime, I will be able to also look for this particular the file name also in my logs. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead, upload my file. And once I've uploaded my file, the file got uploaded. I'm going to stop my channel and start my channel again. So I've stopped my channel and I've started my channel. Now let's go into SXMB Moni and refresh, right? There are two messages. So go into your inbound message. Now go into the SOAP header and you see there's this tab called dynamic configuration. Click on this dynamic configuration. And out here, do you see something called file to idoc classical.txt? This is your file name. So that's how you can monitor in your PI logs what was the file name that got processed. All you have to do is go into your file scenario, go into your communication channel, go to your advanced tab and select set adapter specific attributes file name. Let's do one thing. Let's select everything that is here. So what, you, what else can you see? You can see the file name. You can see the directory. You can see the file type. You can see the source file size and what is the timestamp. What was the timestamp on the file? So let's select everything. Activate the channel. And once I activate the channel, let's go and upload the file again. I've uploaded the file. And now I'm going to go in just to speed things up. Stop my channel. Start my channel. So now my message should get pre-processed. And I go into SXMB Moni again. I refresh. And now when I go into SXMB Moni and refresh, now if I go to dynamic configuration, you can see everything. So this is the file name. You see here file name. And this is the, sorry, this is the source file timestamp. The source file stamp is this. This is the file name. This is the source file size, which is 144 bytes. This is the directory from which I picked up the file. And this is the file type. It is a binary type. Bin is nothing but binary, txt, there are multiple different types of file. So PI process the file as binary. So the basic idea is in, in PI, you need to explore quite a bit, right? There are a lot of options that we might not have selected. Uh, you know, there are multiple other options that your file adapter supports, that your IDOC adapter supports. Uh, each of these adapters in themselves can be an extremely detailed session. Okay. So the basic idea is so far has been that you need to explore each of your channel there are multiple parameters for example you can also select these options to say hey i can put a mask here advanced selection and say hey do not select this file you can also tell your pi file adapter that i can you need not always select the files from one directory you can also select it from multiple directories you can also speak up multiple files in one single um, um, message so pi provides you multiple such options so what what does advanced selection for source file tell you you can say pick up file from three directories and this is the file name mask for each of these directories okay in the additional files i can say apart from this file this message also needs to take pick up two files so my input message is going to have three files and so on so there are multiple advanced features that the pi's file adapter provides apart from what we saw so far, an XML file processing, content conversion. There are multiple other options. We also saw how the adapter specific attributes work. So there are multiple other options that PI provides and the best way to, to know what are these is to go to help.sap and search for this. So which means, how do I search? I will use SAP PI sender file adapter and say help.sap.com, all right? Here you will get the link and here every of these features would be documented. Okay, with this, we come to the end of this session and we shall meet again in the next session. Thank you and see you.